This is Kyle Horst with Kirksville Web Design, the Google Sites designer. And I'm providing here a tutorial and sort of a review of the new Google Sites. So if you can tell from my screen, uh, we're at the web address here, sites.google.com slash new. And here's some of the sites that I've uh, started to build. Uh, but I want to give you a walkthrough about using the new, new Google Sites, uh, some things you should know about it, uh, its limitations, but also its benefits. Uh, so why don't we just jump into uh, starting a new site. Go to the Create button here. Pretty quick start on that. Jump right into the page. So with the new Google Sites, um, it's going to be very responsive. Um, you can tell from the uh, uh, preview button how it's going to expand out to fill your screen. That's going to look great on desktop here, uh, tablet, and mobile. So I'll just jump out of preview mode. And um, starting from the top, uh, we'll look at uh, the options here, obviously you can title your site, site title here, uh, that'll be reflected here in the site title displayed. Uh, we have an undo button, uh, a redo, the preview I just showed you, adding editors, uh, that's a little bit of a point of confusion because uh, when you publish a site, as you'll see here, I'll just call this testing. Uh, let's say it was anyone on the web, and we publish it. It's going to give us some publish settings. So when we go to publish settings, you can say, uh, who can visit my site? And um, so at this point, anyone on the web can do so. But who is also a contributor? Well, normally the sharing was kind of um, contained before within here. But uh, basically, this is used for viewing, and this is used for collaborators, uh, for editors. So um, who can edit your site? So be careful when you select this that you're not really managing the view settings. You're actually managing the edit uh, settings there. Uh, moving past that, we have uh, view the published sites, which is kind of similar to our preview. Um, unpublish would obviously have uh, effects taking it off of the web. Um, site analytics, uh, pretty easy to just plug in your Google, Google Analytics ID that you generate from analytics.google.com. Uh, when you make that web property, just plop in the, the UA and it has a set of numbers, something about like that. So able will get metrics and uh, usage based on your site. Um, feedback, help, and make a tour. Uh, just some uh, basic uh, uh, helpful items there. Uh, from insert, we have a text box, images, embed URL, upload. Um, so also these are available if you double click on the page. You're given those uh, same options here. Um, so these are pretty self-explanatory, no need to uh, exactly go into those. Uh, drive, uh, Google Embeds here, and then your Google Documents. Also keep in mind uh, with the embed URL, uh, you can embed things like awesome tables, uh, which is very useful for visualizing your data onto your Google site. We'll really expand uh, the capabilities of sites beyond the uh, basic ones here. And then pages, obviously you can create your uh, site map and organize things at, uh, at two levels currently is the maximum allowance. Uh, so if you make a new page and you uh, group that under home, it'll become a drop down menu, but that's as far as it goes in terms of uh, moving pages and um, uh, how those are organized in the sitemap. Uh, however, you can have, can hide pages from the navigation, so you could theoretically have uh, more pages behind the scenes and just link to those um, maybe manually within the page. Say if you go here, type in some text to say link to a page, 
uh, you could uh, then link it here to that specific uh, page, even though it's not featured in the, well, I can't link to the same page I'm on, but you understand the principle. Uh, themes, we're given some uh, basic themes here, simple, Aristotle, diplomat, vision, level, and impression. Uh, so what you're getting from these is a, a palette of colors uh, that are available and font styles that are also um, sort of like presets. So you're not given a, a whole lot of uh, control over, over everything, over the color that's displayed here. There's no way to um, customize that. There's no uh, advanced CSS. So that's one of the biggest cons uh, in my mind right now as a designer is that you can't uh, you know, customize everything that you want to. Um, I think that pretty well covers everything other than the page layout sort of options here. So uh, you have header type, large banner, uh, normal size banner and title only. Uh, and then obviously you can uh, add uh, blocks of text here and change background images to, um, you know, you can either choose an image uh, from your uh, uh, computer or select an image that you've already uploaded and that'll uh, display across. So it works really nicely with the responsiveness um, of, the, of the new Google sites. So, you know, it just expands out to the full width. Uh, so that's a major advantage there. However, once you've customized a page, you're missing out on things like page templates and um, using your same work kind of going forward. So uh, it's one of the main features that we'd like to see coming out with sites. And I'll keep you updated when major things uh, come about. So just a quick uh, look at the new Google Sites and uh, how it all works. Hope you found that beneficial and please uh, continue to play around, play around with it. Thank you. Bye.